Sir Augustus Charles Gregory, 1819 to 1905, Queensland's first Surveyor General. Sir Augustus Charles Gregory was Queensland's first Surveyor General and a doyen, a respected senior of all Queensland surveyors. Sir Gregory was also known as an inventor and noted explorer. Early life. Sir Augustus Charles Gregory was born on the 1st of August, 1819, in Farnsfield, Nottinghamshire, England. His father, Joshua Gregory, had been wounded and in lieu of a military pension accepted a land grant in Australia. In 1829, the Gregory family arrived in Western Australia and took on the role of colonial settlers, establishing themselves on the banks of the Swan River. Outback life was hard for the family. While difficult, overcoming these challenges would be the bedrock of Gregory's education in Australian outback life and encourage the growth of his self-sufficiency and inventive spirit. Through his youth, Gregory rapidly acquired all the skills essential for remote colony life. Riding, bushcraft, carpentry, blacksmithing and building were all learned and put to good use working the family's property. More traditional indoor studies were not neglected. His mother Frances tutored all of the children. Young Gregory mastered mathematics, natural sciences and became a competent writer. This combination of skills and aptitudes served him well and would become essential for his future career. By the age of 22, Gregory was already working in partnership with his brother as a contract surveyor. Gregory's growing expertise had not gone unnoticed. Neighbour and family friend, John Rowe, had taken a paternal interest in the family's children after the passing of Gregory's father. Rowe was a surveyor and explorer himself, and recognised Augustus's talents. He encouraged Gregory to apply for a vacant position in the Survey Department of Western Australia. Gregory quickly progressed from cadet to the position of assistant surveyor. He worked mainly in the countryside, marking out roads, town sites and issuing pastoral licences, often with his brothers as his chainmen. Gregory the Explorer Essential to the British colonisation of all Australia was the continued exploration of the continent's coastline and interior. Colonists were seeking land suitable for grazing and agricultural purposes. Additionally, they wanted to locate mineral deposits, potential port locations and trade routes through this vast new land. Australia's land mass is 32 times greater than the United Kingdom. Its size and temperate climates presented great challenges for 1800s exploration technology. The only path to unlocking Australia's hidden wealth on land were horse-mounted expeditions. A team of people would be employed with specialisations suitable for the expedition's purpose. An essential role for any expedition were surveyors, to map the route and geographical features of the journey. Other professions common to these explorations were botanists, geologists and scientists. Their task was to record and document new discoveries of geology, fauna and flora. Gregory was not only a proficient surveyor, but he excelled at the organisation of staff, horses and equipment, making him an ideal candidate to lead these excursions. Gregory is credited with leading four major expeditions in his career each one expanding the knowledge of remote areas of Australia. Gregory the Inventor Gregory was well known for his inventive spirit and practicality. He smelted his own iron ore and would craft the tools he needed, like pen knives, items not easily attainable. He also designed an apparatus to operate the first revolving light beacon installed on Rottnest Island in Western Australia to help guide ships. Other inventions he was credited with include a special saddle pack and compass. 
His resource, bushcraft, facility for invention and technical expertise won him the attention and confidence of his superiors. Gregory, Queensland's first Surveyor General By the time Queensland had become a separate colony in 1859, settlement had extended from Maranoa in the southwest to coastal Capricornia in the north. The first public service appointment for this new state was the position of Surveyor General. So confident was Gregory in his suitability for the position, he supplied only this short letter of application. At this time, few could match Gregory's wealth of expertise and experience. He was appointed to this position on the 23rd of December, 1859, and held the post until the 11th of March, 1875. He presided over all land matters in the new colony with the assistance of a small staff of surveyors, land commissioners, draftsmen and clerks. Despite his limited resources, Gregory was responsible for classifying and controlling an area of more than 670,000 square miles, only sparsely populated by varying physical and climactic conditions. As a skilled surveyor, he increased the involvement of surveyors in land administration, insisting all land should be surveyed before being open for lease and sale to the public. He also improved the accuracy of land boundaries and advocated the appointment of surveyors as land commissioners. Gregory's influence on Queensland's early land legislation sought to achieve a balance between grazing interests and a need to develop agriculture. While Gregory always applied himself to all tasks in life, he was always better suited to work in the field than government administration. As Surveyor General, Gregory attracted criticism for being more sympathetic to land squatters rather than the objectives of government. Internal political manoeuvrings forced a department reorganisation that elevated William Alcock Tully to Surveyor General and relegated Gregory to the position of Geological Surveyor. Later Life Gregory remained active in public life. As Chairman of the First Tuong Municipal Council, a leading Freemason, an active member of the Anglican Church. Gregory was also a member of a variety of scientific organisations. From 1876 to 1899, he served as the trustee of the Queensland Museum. In the same year, Gregory helped establish an institute of surveyors and was the foundation president. The institute was revived in 1899 and Gregory became the first honorary member in recognition of his achievements as both explorer and surveyor. In 1882, he was appointed to the Legislative Council. Gregory was knighted in 1903 for his contributions to the exploration of Queensland and is honoured in the naming of the Gregory River, the Gregory North and South Pastoral Districts and the Gregory Highway, all in inland Queensland. On the 25th of June 1905, Gregory passed away at his home, Rainworth, and was buried in the Tawong Cemetery. The next time you see the name Gregory on a signpost or map, it is most likely named after this extraordinary man, Gregory, Queensland's first Surveyor General.